Okay, so I got the air rack compressor out because it wasn't working. And first thing, it's missing one piston fully. Here's the other one. It snapped and broke off and was beating and banging around inside that cylinder there. And this one's just totally non-existent. So I'm going to be dumping that and getting rid of that and going with an electric one to put in the bed right there on the side. And now I just need a AC pulley or a bypass pulley for the belt on the front. Because that was just, it was spewing fluid. None of that is from the actual motor. All that grease and fluid, that's all from that hydraulic. Because it was, what it would do since it was locked up is you turn it on and it kick off and it spit all the fluid out this airline. This filter that was on it, which hung over top of that. But, got my hands dirty, gonna have to replace the radiator. It's got a few holes in it. Uh, figure out something else for this radiator overflow. Uh, there's some wiring on this truck I want to reroute and do better because they got this shit ran crazy like. That's the starter wires you see there. That look like crap just ran through that control arm. It's not going to adjust. But yeah, so like I said, I got the air eye compressor working on it first so we can get that done. Then I'll replace the air lines probably just to be safe because it don't look like any. Since this truck was built, it looks like everything's the same thing that was on it. I'm going to keep the tanks, keep those. Um, but I'm just going to go with an electric compressor instead. And then I'm going to redo all of this. New control arms. I'll do new bags, which you can't really see. But there's the bag down in there. And just clean up the frame while I'm in there.